In the depths of an ancient ocean, there was silence. And then, life force spoke. Through delicate alchemy, signals emerged. This is one of the first forms of communication. But what do these signals mean? Are other life forms calling for friendship or declaring animosity? To make decisions from complex information, something special was needed. A brain. And that is how one of the first nerve cells were born. Electric messengers carried information from the external realm through branches akin to data highways called the synaptic connections. When a neuron has heard enough of these signals, it awakens and pronounces a decree. This is one of the many ways intelligence emerged in the animal kingdom. Can we give this ability to a machine? Let us try. Here is an artificial neuron. Let us call him Neo. Just like a biological neuron, this too has an input connection and an output connection. As our Neo is existing happily in dark and silence, it gets a message from the external world. An input involving sounds of tiny chemical bursts. Since Neo only understands numbers, everything needs to be expressed at so. Let's express sound in decibels. Neo hence is able to take in the input, do some mental processing, and try to come with an output a prediction. Now, in our small binary matrix simulation, Neo can make only two predictions, 0 or 1. In human language, let us say 1 means safety, while 0 means danger. Rightfully predicting these is a matter of Neo's survival. So what should happen in Neo's mind for accurate predictions? Primarily, two things, weighing and scaling. Proceeding first with scaling. The signals that the cosmos sends around can be anything, sound, energy, force, and that can vary from positive infinity, such as the massive imploding pole of a black hole, to negative infinity, such as the explosive push force of a supernova. Now, if we squashed our infinite scale to something more manageable, so that extremely small values in our data set become zero, and really large values become one, wouldn't that simplify our math and reduce the computational expense? Not just that, scaling has a few more benefits, one being the introduction of doubt. Neo at the moment is quite arrogantly confident about his opinion, decreeing either a sweeping zero or one. True intelligence on the other hand is always doubtful and uncertain about the potential unknowns. Suppose you were born centuries ago and you saw the sun go around the earth every day. This made you a hundred percent confident that Earth was the center of our solar system. But then, a little doubt trickles in and it tempts you to question your assumption. You create a tool and your first peek inside it completely inverts your reality. Therefore, rather than an arrogant yes or no, we need to equip Neo with an uncertainty scale that is, a probability scale. If his output is greater than, say, a threshold of 0.5, Neo can be more certain that the input indicates safety. If less than the threshold, there is a higher probability that he might be in danger. 
Now, depending on Neil's environment, it is possible to make him either more optimistic or risk averse. For instance, if we increase the threshold, we make Neil more alert to danger. This is true for humans too. Children raised in war zones or amidst domestic abuse are at a higher risk of deep-rooted emotional scars. Sadly, the word scar here is not metaphorical. If left untreated, stress can actually rewire young brains, resulting in disproportionate responses to situations that may not even be real threats. Coming back to the main discussion, how can we obtain this probability scale? Well, have you ever pondered over the shape of an S-curve? It has a beginning, then a period of accelerated gradient, and finally a flattening slope. Interestingly, many phenomena in our world follow the same trajectory, such as the age-old question, does money buy happiness? A few cents won't make many people happy, well at least not in an expensive country like the US. More money, however, can drastically increase the quality of your life and increase your happiness index. After being enormously rich, however, more money may not have that big of an impact. Same goes for the spread of a rumor or a viral video. At first, only a few people know about it. Then suddenly, everyone seems to be talking about it and it blows up. Finally, the news becomes old and boring and people move on to the next big thing. Same applies to the rise and fall of empires or the growth trajectory of a startup. Now, there is a name for this curve. It is called a sigmoid curve. And the good news is that it comes with a math equation that is almost magical. Any number you throw at this equation gets squashed to a scale of 0 and 1. This is also called an activation function because it spurs an artificial neuron to life akin to a biological neuron. It determines the neuron's destiny based on whether the threshold is surpassed or not. So let us upload a sigmoid curve to our neuron. And just like that, any input it takes gets converted to a probability. Great! So far, we've discussed the inputs, the outputs, and the scaling. But you are probably still wondering, where is the intelligence part? 